So we've done a randomized controlled trial in a thousand people worldwide who had a gene which predisposed them to bowel cancer. Uh, we gave them two aspirins a day or dummy tablets, placebos. After two years of treatment, we saw no effect, but after five years, we've seen a 50% reduction in cancer uh, in those who were taking the aspirin. So we're now in a position to recommend aspirin to people in this very high risk category. And it obviously tells us something about the benefit of aspirin for the wider population. In absolute terms, the people who had taken two years worth of treatment, we had 10 cancers on one side and 23 cancers in the people who weren't on aspirin. So in that small group of people, we'd prevented 13 bowel cancers. What was even more exciting in many ways was we'd secondarily set up to look at the other cancers these patients get, particularly cancer of the womb and of the stomach and kidney and so on, which is less common. And what we found was all of the hereditary cancers uh, that they were prone to were reduced. So overall, we had 19 cancers in the aspirin group and 38 cancers in the placebo group. So what we can now say with confidence is that people with this inherited predisposition uh, are, if they can tolerate aspirin, then they'll benefit significantly with a 50% reduction in cancer. Of course, now that raises new questions. How soon should you start? Uh, how much should you take? Uh, and how does it work?